Welcome to Influence, the show about one of the university's founding colleges, the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. I'm your host, Emily Shaw. On today's episode, we'll be learning more about the Department of Food Science, Nutrition, and Health Promotion, and our first guest is Dr. Christine Cord, an assistant clinical professor in the department. Welcome, Dr. Cord. Hi, thank you. So we're so excited to have you here and learn more about your Department of Food Science, Nutrition, and Health Promotion. Mm -hmm. And so I know it's a lot of, in that title. So if you could mm -hmm. tell us about the majors and the concentrations. Sure. We actually have two majors for undergraduates within our department. We have just under 150 undergrads in the department. And they're divided, like I said, into two majors. Uh, the first major is kind of our umbrella major, mm -hmm. which is the Food Science, Nutrition, and Health Promotion major. And under that, we have four concentrations. Uh, the food science type concentrations would entail the food science concentration, which is for students who are interested in maybe going on to graduate school, um, possibly a professional school, but it's going to be heavier in the sciences, the chemical reactions of food, mm -hmm. things like that. We also have the food safety concentration, and this actually is a good option for students who are interested in going on to vet school mm -hmm. later. So they will focus on the microbiology of foods, food production systems, how to keep food safe. The third is the food processing and business concentration. And this is really geared for students who are interested in going directly into the food industry. Some want to work for companies maybe in quality assurance. Others are interested in starting their own food businesses. Okay. So um, it will prepare them with food production skills, knowledge of the, the basics of food production, quality assurance again, but it will also equip them with the business skills that they need. Some even go on to get a minor in one of the, one of the business type disciplines as well. So Excellent. it'll kind of give them a more well-rounded, um, industry-ready approach. Mm -hmm. The fourth concentration, and this is our largest concentration within the major, is the food and nutrition concentration. And so these students really emphasize uh, nutrition, which is the study of food and nutrients and their impact on human health. It will prepare them to be a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. And many of these students actually go on to apply for a dietetic internship program after they graduate, which would then qualify them to uh, sit for the registered dietitian and nutritionist exam or go on to receive that RDN credential and work as a registered dietitian and nutritionist for a hospital, a clinic, um, private practice, things like that. The other major that we have in our program is the colonology major. And this is a fairly new discipline. Um, it basically combines the science of food with culinary arts. And we work closely with the Mississippi Univers University for Women over in Columbus. Our students take about 30 hours of culinary arts courses at MUW right. combined with food science courses at MSU. And so they come out with a really well-rounded knowledge of both the arts and the science of food. That's really neat. I understand that most of the students in these concentrations do some sort of professional mm -hmm. experience. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So all of our students have outside experience mm -hmm. as part of their undergraduate program. For the nutrition students, this comes in the form of what they call field experience or working out with professional dietitians, getting experience in clinics or hospitals, things like that. Right. For our food science and colonology students, they're required to do an internship, and this will consist of a variety of things. Often it is working in research and development for a food company, mm -hmm. possibly quality assurance for a food company. Okay. We try to place them in the industry so that they kind of have a foot in the door for future careers as well as get a feel for what they like and what they don't like about a particular area of the industry. Right. So I like that you've told us a little bit about how each of these prepares them for certain careers. Mm -hmm. Are there any other careers that recent graduates have gone into that maybe um, aren't as obvious or a really neat showcasing of their degree? There are, there are a huge variety of um, career options for food science graduates. A lot of them will, like I said, go into research and development. There's also this, this niche area of the research chef 
where, okay. which is a good area for colonology students to pursue, where they're developing recipes that will go on to become the new TV dinner or kind of the gold standard recipe that becomes a processed food later on. We also have students take um, less traditional paths for food science. Maybe they go on, like I said, to vet school or to professional mm -hmm. school. Um, some even go on to nursing school with their nutrition oh, okay. concentration. So really you can do about anything because it is a science-based major. Okay, that's excellent. So quickly, your graduate programs mm -hmm. that are available to students. Sure, well we've got the food science option, which you can study a variety of things with our different faculty members from food safety, food processing, um, different interventions for, for preventing microbial growth in foods, things like that. You can also go on to study nutrition as a major or in the dietetic internship, okay. as well as the health promotion um, major as a graduate program focusing on programs to improve health and wellness in the community. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing with us today, Dr. Cord. And coming up, we'll hear from a graduate student in the department. Imagine research that opens new avenues of evidence for crime scenes. We are at Mississippi State University, where we ring true. It's hard to fathom. By the year 2050, Earth will be home to three billion more people than today. And with rising populations and dwindling resources, one of the most pressing questions is a stark one. How will we feed everyone? At Mississippi State University, we're preparing a meal table where there's a seat for all of us. As one of the nation's leading research universities, our scientists are deploying technology to enhance crop production developing vaccines to protect aquaculture, working to boost water resources here at home and in communities around the globe. And by partnering with the League of International Universities and the United Nations, we're guaranteeing that global food security is a priority for years to come. As our world grows, so do the challenges. But when it comes to how we will feed everyone, rest assured, Mississippi State has all options on the table. Welcome back to Influence. Our next guest is a graduate student in the Department of Food Science, Nutrition and Health Promotion, Morgan Von Staden. Morgan, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got to MSU. So like you said, my name is Morgan Von Staden. I am from Olive Branch, Mississippi, okay. and um, Mississippi State was kind of in the family. My brother was here, and okay. so um, that's how I got here. All right, so you recently completed your undergraduate degree yes. in this department. And which concentration did you complete? I did the food science concentration. Okay, and so your transition to graduate school, tell us a little bit about that. Um, I really, I, I did go to undergrad here, and um, when I transitioned into my graduate program, I. Um, you know, I still worked in the same lab that I did as an undergrad, and it was a really smooth transition. And, um, you know, I just feel like it's school 2.0 now. <laughs> so, That's um, nice. but I really enjoy just staying here in this small atmosphere. We have a small department, everybody knows everybody, it's like mm -hmm. a family. And so, That's I really nice. just love staying here for grad school. That's excellent. Where did you do your internship while you were an undergraduate? So I actually did two internships. Okay. Um, the first one I did at Ajinomoto, Windsor and Oakland, Mississippi. Okay. And that one was really focused on, we had a brand new um, product line going in, okay. um, in the facility. So I got to test um, to make sure that the product was being made to the code that it needed to. And then my second internship, I did a research and development internship mm -hmm. with Newlyweds Foods in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Oh, interesting. And so I got to take a product and take it from the formulating stage all the way to the pilot plant scale-up stage. And wow. um, 
they provided me with a mentor as well. So they really coached me along the way. And I got to see the industry side of research and development. Wow, that is very interesting. Yeah. Um, do you hope when you finish your degree to be on the research side or the industry side? Um, I definitely want to go into the industry side. Okay. I, um, I feel like that I need to go and spread my wings. So <laughs> um, I've been at school for a while and mm -hmm. so I just want to go and see and do and so my internships in the industry have definitely helped me with that. Excellent. And you mentioned working in a lab. Whose lab have you been working in and what kind of work do you do in that lab? Yes, so I work under Dr. West Schilling in the MSU Muscle Foods and Sensory yes. Laboratory. Okay. And so um, in that lab we do a lot of processing, food chemistry, mm -hmm. and sensory evaluation work. Okay. And I know that you're also president of a student group. If you'll yes. tell us a little bit about that. This is where I get really excited. Can you tell? Yes, I love that. <laughs> so I'm the president of the Institute of Food Technologists Student Association. Okay. And so it's a um, food science professional organization and they, well, the science of food professional organization. And um, we have just over 2,700 um, members that are wow. students all over the world. And so it's really about preparing students to um, use the resources that they've gained in the classroom and applying them in real world application okay. and helping develop students so that when they do go into the industry that they're prepared and they're ready and they get the job of their choosing. That's excellent. What kind of activities do y'all do to, to prepare these students? Yes, so we do a lot of um, workshops and um, development of the, you know, the students to make sure that they're prepared mm -hmm. and also we do competitions so that they can okay. apply the, um, what they're uh, learning and so they can, um, you know, kind of, we have a developing solutions for developing countries oh, wow. competition. Mm -hmm. So they're taking the knowledge that they have um, mm -hmm. from the classroom and finding ways that, you know, they can solve these major food crises that we have around the world and so That's excellent. Um, and then we also have you know a college bowl competition where I like to call it the food science nerd off <laughs> and so um, you know you really get to quiz how much you've learned and um, sometimes if your professors watch it can be a little intimidating Absolutely. <laughs> to see how much you've learned in yeah. their class but um, that's one of my favorite competitions as well. That sounds like a really fun way to apply classroom knowledge. <laughs> yes. It gets very competitive. Absolutely. So I know that you're new to graduate yes. studies, but what do you hope to um, look into while you're here as part of your research? That's a very, um, I feel like it changes every other day. That's okay. So <laughs> I work um, in a muscle foods lab, mm -hmm. lab, so I'm sure that I will be somewhere in the muscle food okay. side of things. and. Um, I'm not really sure where I'll end up, but I know that my boss will make sure that it's something that I enjoy. That sounds good. It's yes. nice sometimes to have a lot of options. Yes. Well, Morgan, thank you for visiting with us today and sharing a little more about the graduate studies in food science, nutrition, and health promotion. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on this issue of Influence, where we learned a little bit more about the Department of Food Science, Nutrition, and Health Promotion.